They gather in their numbers carrying flags and banners while they chant their slogans as the NLC makes its way to the Lagos State Government Secretariat in Alausa Ikeja to occupy the state civil service. They approach the gates and demand that it be opened to enable them access into the premises. Police! Police! These are not your stations. Workers belong to the union. Their fellow comrades are here. So you cannot lock the gates of the Sardinians against fellow workers. Inside the premises, some workers can only look to the NLC protesters below. There's a presence of security operatives, while some workers even engage in heated debates. Labor insists that the federal government's decision to hike the price of petrol is unacceptable considering the harsh economic realities in the country. Essentially, it was expected of all workers to comply. And necessary directive was given to these workers only for the government himself to coerce them with some of the intimidation and, uh, I don't want to use the word bribery, but they know what they did overnight to allow the workers in with intimidation. It's unaccepted. This is a struggle that should be fought by the workers. The reality is that government has not been honest with Nigerians. After the 2012, you know, a, a subsidy a protest, even before then, there was, there have been so many committees that were set up in government by the the National Assembly, the Ibrahim Mantu Committee, you remember. There were recommendations, even if you want to talk about the regulation. These are the steps that you should follow to fulfill the terms under which you can now bring in the regulation. You need to repair the railways, you need to repair the refineries, and so on and so forth. No one knows for how long this exercise will continue, but Labour and its affiliate unions say they have resolved to continue the struggle until government listens to their demands. Ayotunde Balogun. Reporting for Channels Television News.